Hey guys, and welcome to the big another family. That's right. <laughs> now you might be wondering, hey, I thought December you were all going to be doing videos together. Well, that's true. It's just we're doing this one in stages. So, um, we're doing our Nightmare Before Christmas wreath. I had a part for everyone to do, but Lydia is unfortunately feeling under the weather. So, she will not be joining us at all. So right now it's just me and Victor. 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 <laughs> okay. So what Victor's going to be doing is Jack Skellington. Well, I want you to make several little figures okay. to go on this. Um make um whichever ones you want to make. Okay. So, you got, I pulled you up some screenshots so you can look at different characters that go on our wreath form. We got this one, it's, uh, it's about maybe $3 or $2.50 or something like that. And uh, I got some yarn that has black and silver and gray and white in it, really pretty. And I'm going to use it to wrap this, and that's going to be part one. And then part two, we're going to get Alex and Ray in on this action. So Lydia was supposed to be wrapping the wreath, and I'm going to make a big Jack Skellington face to go in the middle. But now I'm going to be doing both. So. And there's my Jack Skellington. Awesome. Alright, put him, put him down gently because we don't want them falling apart. There we go. Because we're going to put him on this wreath. Okay. So, now I'm going to build Sally. Okay. Alright, so. Sally's finished? Yep. Sally and Jack Skellington. Alright, which one are you working on next? Oogie Boogie Man. Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie Man. Hey. Okay. Oh, I got a two tiny little squares in his hand to represent dice. It's cute. Thank you. Can you show to the camera? <laughs> Look, I made the Oogie Boogie Man. It was a lot He's easier to make than Sally, wasn't it? Yeah, much easier. He's got two little dice, too. Cool. And I even, I even added his little tail at the back for the hook to make it like a, his head. Can you show it? Oh, okay. Sandy claws. <laughs> Alright, you gonna make He's any more? Got a, no. He's yeah. got his candy cane cane uh -huh. and a sack of toys. Awesome. And he's got little shoesies at the bottom. Shoesies? A detail. And he stands up pretty good. Uh huh. Let's see about everyone else. Well, they don't have to stand up. I know. But these two are definitely going to oh. just fall over and mess up. But these two stand up perfectly. Alright, so we got four for the wreath. Yep. That'll work. Alright, so my helper has left me. And I have finished covering the wreath. So I'm just going to cut that. 
So I am just tying it in the back and probably going to secure it with some fry check. Alright, I'm going to fry check that. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to fry check that and then I'm going to make thinking since Victor made a uh, jack and everything then I may make the big moon with the mountain in front of it and then we'll get those into the oven because these are different thicknesses I'm probably also going to have to um, do them for different times. Remember always follow the remember to always follow the directions on your clay. And since this wreath is so big, at first I plan on putting a big face in the middle. But now I am actually thinking about putting just the moon at the top so it won't be so huge. Because that big face would use a lot of clay. You know, it's always fun to make a plan and everything, but you don't necessarily have to stick to it doggedly. New plan. Um, we've used all our, our white clay. We're gonna just make white clay and then paint it. But we've used all of that and Ray did not get the message while he was out that we needed more so I'm going to get the black clay to make the mountain and that'll be the only piece that does not get painted. Again, like I said, you know, you want to have a plan. Having a plan is fun. But sometimes things don't go according to plan. You gotta kind of roll with it. You gotta be able to do something. You gotta be flexible, you know. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. these in the oven and then it's moving on to phase two. Oh this is going to start. We're back for part two and I like that one. Okay. We got Alex over here painting our moon clay. Ray is going to be putting some delicious an actual Christmas tree from a nightmare before Christmas you can tell can't you actually we got this um, <laughs> in 2009 and it's starting to look a little bad and it's missing its stand yeah it's... for the past couple of years we've had to actually like rig it up so that it would stand up so you couldn't really put any good ornaments on it because uh, if, if you did, it was pretty much guaranteed to fall over and break them. So it's had it. So mm -hmm. now we're going to upcycle it. That's right. And bolt we've got cutters. bolt cutters. And uh, another thing about this, I was going to say, oh yeah, I just spent the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, getting all the lights off. Getting of all it. the lights off of it because those can also be reused. And I am going to be painting some spidery Christmas trees in glitter. I've got this really cool, I don't know if you can see the black and silver glitter on this big black book. 
As ironic as it may sound to people who live in more northern climes, uh, working on this kind of project does make a great rainy day activity. You can see this our tree got the serious mange now. We're cat proofing the tree. That's, that's what it is. Saw that on one of the social media sites, a picture of a new department store cat proof artificial tree. It was a six foot tall pole with four branches at the top with one ornament on each and a very unhappy looking cat. Happy Hello Christmas. Ben. All right, we are going to help out with the painting. I'm painting Santa. I'm painting Sally. I'm painting the Oogie Boogie Man. Oogie Boogie Man. How are you going to do it? I'm going to do the best I can. Another thing that you really need to remember is if you're working with kids, do not expect we are having a bunch of fun. That's right. This is not trying to get pure perfection. No. Yeah, and if you are working with rays, do not expect good painting. <laughs> <laughs> right now she looks like it's, she looks like my pet. She does! Flesh tone. Really just gonna cheat like that? Yeah, I'm just gonna cheat like that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Wow. I thought you were about to do that. Yeah. And we are back for part three and look who's healing brother. Hi, Yay. it's me. Alright, so we are going to attach I'm hoping Santa will stay on there. I'm going to attach Stuff to the reef. All right. White side up or black side up? I'm thinking white side. White side up. Okay. Whoa! Spoop. What happened? I don't know. Or we're being spooked by ghosts. Alright, so there's our bow. That says Merry Christmas. You can't really see it. And there's supposed to be a spider web, but it kind of not the best looking. And I got a big spider here and spidery looking Christmas trees. That's really neat. Alright. Maybe would you like to attach some some babies to it? I would probably attach some babies. We're just using hot glue to attach them and hopefully it will work. Trying to get even. Product. I don't know if you can see it real good. I'm going to take some better pictures of it. That's our nightmare before Christmas wreath. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And we'll see you next in the next video. <coughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And check out my Patreon and all of my social medias down in the description below. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye!